NBC has been slammed after they did an interview with an Olympic, Olympic skier by the name of Bodie Miller. Now, Bodie Miller's uh, brother passed away three years ago, and uh, Kristen Cooper wanted to ask him about it, but she asked him about it so much that he started crying. Um, so after that happened, uh, someone from the Associated Press commented on it and said it was tone deaf and cruel and, so, and short-circuited the thoughtful, intelligent perspectives Miller had started to offer until he couldn't talk anymore. So so apparently she asked and kept asking and, and he just couldn't handle it anymore. It was a really difficult thing for him to discuss. Um, and also uh, the New York Times says that Cooper and NBC lacked the sensitivity to know when enough was enough. Yeah, it's part of why I hate the Olympics and don't watch it. Uh, everybody's grandmother died uh, and uh, if it wasn't their grandmother, it was their dog. But however close they are to the person, unfortunately the media views it as better. So. Bodie Miller obviously really broken up about his family member dying. It's the death of his brother that was re uh, recent. So wow, it's really close to him. Okay, let's get in his face and let's just keep asking him questions until we get that emotional touching moment. It's tragedy porn. It's tragedy porn, but I don't think that it's unique to Olympic coverage. I think that it's something that you see throughout the press, especially mainstream press. You want to have the emotional elements of the story because people are addicted to it. That's what keeps them watching. So with anything, I mean, that's why a lot of news stories get sensationalized because Straight news reporting is boring oftentimes. Like, what do you do? You interview him and you say, oh, cool, you know, you won the bronze medal. That's really exciting. How do you feel? And look, to be completely honest with you, I would be bored with that interview, right? But at the same time, I don't think that it's right for reporters to try to sensationalize things or to exploit a really dark part of someone's life unless that person willingly wants to talk about it. You know who's a great uh, sports reporter is Jim Gray. I don't know if you guys remember the interviews he would do after sporting events, especially in boxing. Mm -hmm. I mean, he would get right up in Mike Tyson's face as Mike Tyson was about to lose his frickin' mind. And he'd ask him really tough questions. That's great reporting, right? But it wasn't like, hey, did your puppy die last week? And you know, uh, and it was, and then and if you get an interesting response, as by the way, Aaron Andrews did with Richard Sherman, you shouldn't jump down the guy's throat. Obviously, everybody's heart goes out to Bodie Miller in this case, and they're trying to protect him, right? Mm -hmm. But no, the one part I disagree with you on is y it's definitely more in the Olympics. So will you hear a story from time to time about some football player and the tragedy that he suffered? Look, more often than not, with football players, et cetera, and baseball players, it's the crazy stuff they did. You know, what kind of drugs did they abuse, steroids, this, that, the mm -hmm. other thing. Okay, are, are they gay, are they not gay, are they, I don't know, whatever, right? But it's not like, oh my God, his aunt died a year ago. Or it happens sometimes, but I don't need that for the game to be interesting. I want to see who wins. Seattle or, or Denver I without know. having to worry about Jake. Peyton Manning's aunt, right? I know, but but the, the Olympics aren't that interesting. People so they, like nobody normally goes skiing. Nobody here outside of the Olympics, no one watches skiing, right? So they've got to go into like, oh my God, what happened to your brother? Yeah, that's probably true. Look, I don't know. I don't. I don't pay attention to the Olympics enough to make that comparison. But one thing that I will say is, when it comes to all sports, when it comes to athletes, except for the exception of uh, maybe baseball, because I feel like. People don't really know who the baseball players are, except for some of the big names. But you know details about everyone's life. You know, you're all up in their business uh, when it comes to their marriage, their divorce, what kind of house are they living in. Like, no, but they don't do tragedy porn. Like, so you'll find out Cromartie has like, you know, seven kids from eight women. <laughs> Work with me. <laughs> okay. But that's not like, oh my God, Cromartie, how did you feel about your seven kids from 12 women after the game? <laughs> right? Like it's just an interesting story and these yeah. guys are celebrities at this point, right? But it's not because you need that to make the football more interesting. A couple of things. Uh, first, uh, Bodie Miller brought it up. He brought up his brother's death first. So I give the reporter a bit of a pass. Uh, but Cenk, you're right because the Olympics is all about, you know, the human spirit and you know, overcoming long odds. You train your entire life for this one shining moment. So yes, they definitely focus a lot more on the human interest aspect of it, whether it's a death or some major obstacle that they overcome, much more so than the traditional sports that you see on a regular basis. That part's true. When figure skaters were at, told about uh, the questions that NBC had asked Pody Miller, they were outraged. Here were some of their reactions. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that guy can just stay there. That knocked him off his feet. <laughs> He's they horrified. Said, they said, what about Bodie Miller? <laughs> just having fun. <laughs>
Okay, line it up a little bit. <laughs>